So next up, this video is gonna be a little bit longer, and the reason being is because there's a lot of valuable information that's gonna help you achieve your ideal body in this. So what we're about to show you is something called foam rolling. It's also known as self-myofascial release. And basically what it is is a deep tissue massage that you're giving yourself. You see, excuse me, we have this stuff called fascia that surrounds our muscle. And as our muscle becomes tight, so does that fascia. So essentially what we're gonna be doing with this foam roller is kneading out all those adhesions and all those knots that are in your muscle. Now, Lee's only gonna show you one side and we're gonna move through it rather quickly. So if you have any questions, just pause for a second and then they'll be answered momentarily. So the first thing that we wanna do is foam roll his calves. And what Lee is gonna end up doing is bringing one leg right over the other and lifting his hips off the ground as he moves slowly from his Achilles tendon to the top of his gastrocnemius, the calf muscle. And as he does that, he wants to take his time and not move too quickly so that the foam roller can really penetrate that muscle and that fascia. He's gonna move his foot slowly to the left, slowly to the right, and that's gonna hit cross-sectional areas of the muscle. Now say that's a little bit too much, right? It's a little bit too much for your arms to hold. Now what we can do is take that right leg and then bring it onto the ground so that it's another point to allow assistance in foam rolling. So once we foam roll that calf, we're gonna move up right to the hamstring. Hamstring is on the back of your leg. And essentially it's a very tight muscle that can cause lower back pain. It causes a numerous amounts of maladies within the body. For this, you wanna keep your shoulders right over your waist so the hamstring is in a stretched position. And just like with the calf, we're gonna repeat that process of slowly bringing the foot to the left and into the right. Take your time and when you notice tight spots, breathe into it and apply a lot of pressure. So next up, we're gonna to move to the glute, right, which is the back muscle. And from there, we're actually gonna sit on the foam roller. Now there are a couple of different ways to do it, like Lee was just doing, we're gonna put that ankle on top of the glute. And if you look at the muscle itself, it's a bit of a curvature, right? So you wanna to move to what feels right with your body, inhaling slowly through the process, exhaling slowly as well. Now say you're not feeling it too much in this position, what we can do is take that ankle, lower it down to the ground, and then move slightly, turning to the side that we're working. Now as you see, Lee is moving with his body to find where those adhesions are. Repeat this on both sides. So next up, we're gonna move into the back, and this is gonna feel amazing. It's like a back massage, oh my God, it's gonna feel great. So from here, well, there's a couple of different options for your arms, you can bring them right, uh, excuse me, across your chest so they're touching your shoulders, or even right behind your head, whatever's most comfortable for, comfortable for you. So from here, we're going to roll, we're gonna roll about three quarters of the way up your back to your shoulder blades. We don't wanna hit the lower back directionally, and the reason being is those muscles are a bit sensitive, and they might need something lighter to start off, okay? So as he moves from three quarters of his back to the top portion of his traps, right, he's inhaling slowly, exhaling, he can rotate to the left, he can rotate to the right. You essentially wanna see what's best for your body. Once we've covered that, this one is gonna feel amazing. It's a foam rolling stretch for your neck. So we're gonna have Lee come fully off the foam roller so that the foam roller is literally right above his traps in between his neck area. From here, all he's gonna do is just rotate his head to the left, rotate his head to the right, bring his chin down and bring his chin up, seeing where that pressure is really held in the muscles of his neck. Spend a few minutes right here, a few seconds right here until you feel those muscles release. And then here's the fun stuff. We're gonna hit your quadricep and we're also gonna hit your IT band. So for the quadricep, you're gonna remain on your stomach kinda like you're doing a plank. There's a couple of different ways to do it. The first way we're gonna have you do it or Lee do it, excuse me, is having both legs on top of the foam roller, rolling from the top of his hips to the top of his knee. Now you're gonna have to move around and really feel out what's right for you. And once you find those points of adhesion, those tight spots, those knots, take a little bit of time to roll them out. Now if you wanna feel it a little bit more intense, you can drape one leg over, and you can actually put more pressure into that muscle so it gets deeper. Here's a couple of more tips as well to bring the intensity a little higher. 
If you're focused on one leg, what you can do is actually raise that heel up as you're stretching and then rotate that foot to the left and to the right so that you hit different cross-sectional areas of the muscle. It's gonna be kind of painful. So make sure your pain tolerance is about a four or five out of 10. You get a couple of oohs and ahs, but you shouldn't be screaming. And this one, this last one, the IT band, this is gonna be probably the tightest part of your body. So what you're gonna end up doing for that is laying across the foam roller in a side plank position having both legs extended. From here, you wanna go ahead and breathe in and roll across the IT band, which is gonna be from the top of your hip to the top of your knee. This might be extremely painful. I'm telling you, like a 10 out of 10. So one thing that you can do is take that top leg, drape it over so that it allows for a little bit of assistance as you move across that IT band. It's gonna hurt. So take your time and breathe. Inhaling through the nose, Exhaling through the mouth. If you don't do that, this is gonna be one hell of an experience. So make sure you breathe as you go through this foam rolling series. Afterwards, you're gonna feel like a million bucks and you're gonna be ready to take on the world.